As the director of DLA, I'm proud of the work done by our people across the agency. You are the strength behind our success, so we are committed to protecting our most important resource, you, by providing the quality of your workplace safety and health. By implementing the Voluntary Protection Program, diverse DLA activities have joined together as one enterprise to improve our Occupational Safety and Health Program. By moving the agency's Occupational Safety and Health Program beyond mere compliance to a proactive and collaborative effort with management, unions, and our people, we will be able to support our strategic goals while protecting our valuable workforce. DLA and the Department of Defense started the Voluntary Protection Program journey in 2006. Both DLA and DOD remain committed to this program. It is a proven and effective way to reduce workplace injuries and illnesses. VPP is the tool DLA will use to achieve safety excellence and meet the DOD goal of zero preventable accidents. In this video, you will hear from other DLA leaders who have been personally involved with VPP. Each has a unique perspective and an experience to share. The VPP is making a difference at these DLA work sites, and with your involvement and commitment, it will make a difference in yours. And as they say at the distribution depot in Norfolk, if it's not safe, don't do it. It's very exciting to be a VPP star site. It represents both a sense of accomplishment and a sense of promise for a safe and secure workplace. Star recognition has taken us to a new level with our safety program and with the spirit of our workforce. It's critical that any leader recognize that in the hierarchy of needs of the folks at workforce, providing them a safe and secure workplace is right at the top. And the campaign to achieve the star status gave us some momentum to reaffirm that in the hearts of the workforce. Becoming a successful VPP site requires managers and supervisors to commit to leading the effort. While employees and contractors become active participants in the program, together they participate in safety and health training, identify potential hazards at their work sites, and develop ways to prevent and control these hazards. To achieve the certification of STAR status, you had to bring on board every employee at the workplace. Traditionally, we rely on safety offices at an activity to handle all the safety requirements for the command. But under VPP, basically the entire workforce becomes your safety office. Every single employee becomes a safety professional. I'd like to get your take on what caused the mishap to occur, as well as some suggestions on how we can make this a safer environment. But Captain, the way I look at it, it looks like we should have a, a layout area with the pallets at least two feet apart and uh, just a safety precaution. All right, what else? What else uh, do we need to discuss? Well, Captain, I think that um, when you're trying to complete your mission, you always have to be mindful of your surroundings and watch where you're walking because an accident can happen at any time. Great point, awareness training. In the spirit of VPP, we try to get all employees to participate. And in doing so, we do get a lot of uh, great suggestions on how to make this a safer working environment. DLA is also working closely with its unions to support VPP because it provides a direct benefit to all employees, their families, and DLA's mission. The relationship between AFGE and DDJC has always been a good relationship. But with VPP, we see an elevation of that relationship because it's bringing us to the table to work creatively, whether it be a safety issue or a work-related issue. How do we problem solve it? How do we work together to get to results that we both can live with? We had to engage the unions up front, bring them in as part of the planning process. And by doing so, you streamline the negotiations uh, for implementing changes into the workplace. With the primary goal being worker safety, VPP can help managers and supervisors achieve improved operational readiness, fewer accidents, increased productivity, cost savings, improved morale, and a positive return on investment. During the first year where we were running through our application for the VPP, 
we reduced our lost time injuries 57 percent and our OSHA reportables 33 percent. So there's that very tangible, more hours for our employees to work, for them to have a better life and being safe that comes from these kind of uh, uh, programs, as well as what we've been talking about here today, and that is just a more spirited approach to safety uh, throughout the workforce. We've seen some significant uh, positive results as uh, we proceed through the VPP program. For example, in 2006, prior to implementing the program, our injury rate was roughly 5%. So out of every 100 employees, we were averaging about five injuries of lost time every year. In 2007, when we commenced the process, we started to see a drop in that rate. In 2008, we cut the rate in half by 50%. And now in 2009, we are on track to cut that by an additional 50%. So the results are significant. VPP is not just a tool for management or a set of health and safety rules for everyone to follow. It's a change in mindset, a culture shift. That's what helps make the program so successful. If I was to try to summarize the, the overall impact of the VPP program, I'd have to say it's enlivening the workforce and building that spirit of safety among each and every person out there. I noticed you're kind of high up on that ladder, and I was hoping you could step down just a little to a safe state. Kind of reminds me of the old saying, if you tell me, I forget. If you show me, I remember. If you involve me, I commit. We really feel like the workforce is committed to safety, much more so than previous to the VPP program. It really becomes a way of life. And the way I like to describe it is that uh, we insert safety into every single process, every single procedure at the depot. For many employees, their primary focus is to complete the mission and provide service to the warfighter. With VPP, many managers motivate their employees to go the extra mile and take extra steps to make safety a priority in everything they do. A great example of improved spirit among the workforce where ideas are generated that we hadn't thought of before is an idea that we've put into a campaign called Caught in the Act. When they see someone doing something, where they make that commitment to their coworker to increase the safety of the organization, anybody can give them a Caught in the Act award just to promote the kind of uh, consciousness that we're looking for among the workforce. VPP is about making safety a core value. And it works. VPP means excellence in safety. We not only meet the standards set by OSHA, but we also try to exceed the standards at every opportunity. And that's with the ultimate goal of mitigating hazards or eliminating hazards at the workplace, as well as shooting for zero injuries or accidents uh, year over year. I would encourage anyone that, that is leading other employees as a labor leader to really take a look at VPP. And not just look at it, but take it to heart. The effort is well worth the reward in achieving a safe and improved workplace to support our military customers.